Okay, so as we start this video, I want to caution you, first of all, that you're going to see dead bees and you're going to see dead mice. There's no way around it with the topic that I have here, which is wintering over the honeybees. Now, I walked over to this hive and you can see grass at the entrance. And that, of course, means that mice are moving in and they are building their nests there. So it's time to put out mouse traps. A lot of you are going to wonder why don't I just put in those mouse guards on the entry boards and uh, entry reducers of my beehives. Well here in the northeastern United States where I live in the snow belt it gets extremely cold in the winter time and what happens is the bees have to come out and make cleaning flights during winter. What I'm doing here is putting in the standard Victor mousetrap and I'm just showing you what my favorite mousetrap design is. I fill a little syringe with peanut butter and uh, wear surgical gloves to keep uh, my scent off the traps. I don't know if it's that critical. Mice don't seem to be very discriminating. I do not know how many mice are in this hive, so I'm just going to set traps out until the bait stops being eaten and I stop trapping mice. So back to what I was about to say about mouse guards on entry reducers. What happens is bees on extremely cold days often die inside your hive. And when they do that, they have a tendency to plug up the entrances with dead bee bodies. If you don't keep those clear, your bees cannot exit the hive in winter and you could have a complete die out of your bee colony. So what I do is put mouse traps on either sides on the landing boards and I continue to put them out through the winter. And if the mouse traps uh, remain untriggered, great. But each time, in this case, deer mice are my number one culprit for inhabiting my beehives. Um, I leave the traps out until they're either sprung and catch mice or spring comes and I don't have to worry about um, mice getting inside and hibernating through winter there with the bees and plugging up their entrance with nest material. In some cases uh, even a mouse will die inside. Bees can clean their hives out, they can clean the colony, they cannot remove a dead mouse so what they end up doing is just encapsulating it with propolis. This shows how I set it up. These plastic paddle types are in my opinion the best. You can slide the trigger to the left and make it less sensitive. You can slide the trigger to the right in that groove on the plastic paddle and make it the most sensitive. Because I'm outside, I slide it over to the left hand side. Now I set up trail cameras and heat sensitive cameras hoping to catch the mice to see how many I was dealing with, but they were just too fast for the camera. So here I am on the next day and I want to show you what happened on this hive and at this landing board. The mouse trap tripped, flipped off the landing board, and there you have a deer mouse. So one of the things you want to notice when you're looking at your traps after you've caught a mouse is whether or not there's still bait in the trap. If there is, then there may not be more mice, but you need to reset your traps and put them back just in case. Some people prefer to just throw away a trap after they've um, trapped a mouse. I reuse them. You can get them in packs of 10 off of Amazon. They're not very expensive. Sometimes heavy rain or even snowfall will trigger the trap, so you just come out and reset them. Make sure that if the entry boards of your beehives are plugged with dead bees that you clean them out and here's another deer mouse. I think all told throughout my apiary this year um, we've trapped 12 mice. These are my free-ranging chickens. It's only about 39 degrees in this sequence. And you can see now that the trap is actually getting a little rusty. That's fine, they still work. And of course we trapped another mouse.
And this one, because of his gray coat, that's a little younger mouse. So I'm thinking we're starting to clear out that family. These are my fainting goats. And here we go again, another day. A little warmer, maybe it's 39 today. And we trap yet another mouse. These bees are not flying simply because it's just too cold. Although you will see bees fly even when there's snow on the ground to do a cleaning flight and generally they may just die. Now here's an example of another colony. We just had a cold snap where it dropped into the 20s. There are a bunch of summer bees that are now dead on the bottom. If you don't clear these out of that entrance or if you had a mouse guard here, they would be dead inside plugging up the entrance and you would never know. For ventilation purposes, we of course have an upper entrance, but the bees often don't use that when it's really cold. So if you don't come and clear this out, all of your bees would be trapped inside by the bodies of the bees that have expired. It's common to see dead bees like this in the snow that have attempted cleaning flights. They fly out, it gets cold, they drop to the ground, and you'll see that they melt little circles into the snow as they die. This is normal to see in, an, in a cold region where you have bees they do die and block up the entrance. So you need to come through and make sure that those are cleaned and open so that they can do those cleaning flights and also so that they can remove the dead bodies. Normally you don't see this because on warm days they fly away with the dead bodies. And here's a trap that tripped and you don't have to worry about the traps going off. Bees walking on them do not trip a mouse trap. So you just keep resetting. If you get a heavy rain, that's going to set off the trap. And here's a mouse that was trapped actually during a rainstorm, even as fur is wet. And here's another one. I also face the paddles outward on the sides of the landing board because that seems to be the most frequently accessed route for the mice. Now here, I'm going to show you how I get rid of the mice. I just gather them with my surgical glove Flip the glove inside out, wad this one up. I learned this when I was an occupational radiation worker many years ago. And uh, you just keep your hands free of contamination. Just throw your mice in the garbage if you want to. Um, wrapping them up this way, just make sure that no germs are spread. There you have it, drop it right in the trash. So winter time is here to stay. It is time to really pay attention to your landing boards on your beehives. Expect to see dead bees at the entrance of your beehive and also in the snow, even several feet out on warmer days when it hits the 40s or the sun shines. Uh, they need to be able to clean out their own hives and if they plug it up with dead bodies, they cannot get in and out to do these cleaning flights. I hope your beehives survive the winter. Happy keeping. Mm -hmm.